It came on every morning just before. Back on the piano, and I don't know, I may dance when we come back. Sure, you remember Bob and his buddies. There was Wilford the rabbit, the hamster, and inside the hat, that talking alligator. The thing about it is we had more fun than the kids did. Bob Griffin has always managed to turn lemons into lemonade. He spent four years of his life in an orphanage, was adopted by a wonderful couple in Fort Smith, Arkansas. Oh, I, I wanted to be an actor. After college, Bob does some off-Broadway in New York City. You know, I did okay, but my family, my parents didn't approve of that sort of thing. And so he comes home, does a stint in the Army, and eventually ends up in a radio station in Texarkana. And the minute I walked in, and sat down in the radio station, I knew I'd found where I belong. Next stop, KSLA Television in Shreveport, first job station announcer, then that kid show we all loved, but Bob wanted more. Uh, is everything going good at the station? And I said, well, I'm kind of bored. Bob could do it all, but his real gift was sports. 30 seconds. I was told that I was going to start doing 30 seconds of sports. Turns into almost 50 years of constant sports casting and relationships with some of the greats. He'd walk in this house and, you know, family all knew him, he hugged everybody and he, he was just part of your family. He always put a positive spin on, on sport. Then coming home from a Dallas Cowboys game. And I saw some good looking scenery on the side of the road. I forgot whether it was flowers, trees, bushes, what. At the end of the sportscast, I said, by the way, I saw some really beautiful stuff coming back from Dallas. Let me show you, and I showed it. I got a bigger response off that than I'd gotten all sports in months. What followed was hundreds of travel stories all over Texas. That, I got to know Texas backwards and forward. But Bob, you'll never be forgotten. So and we got to know him. Proclaiming the rest of the month of May of the year 2002, Bob Griffin Month in Shreveport. When Bob semi-retired in 2002, he was given the keys to three different cities, but Bob wasn't through. And I just said, George, I'm out of work. KTPA station manager George Servan says, no, you're not. Much more coming your way this Saturday morning. And at 74, Bob passes his last audition. From my wife, congratulations on a successful audition at 74 years of age. Thank you. And a week ago in Baton Rouge, Bob Griffin is honored for a lifetime of achievement. And for two reasons, I'm still here in Shreveport, Bossier. Number one is, I really love Shreveport, Bossier. Number two is, nobody else ever wanted me. <laughs> That's not true, of course, but we're sure glad that no one took him from us. Charlie, Charlie, how are you? Hanging out with the guys is where you'll find Bob Griffin now most mornings, doing what he loves, helping people, cheerleading for the town that would not let him go, and managing to never work a day in his life. I don't feel like I've ever done a day's work. What I do now is my hobby. It's really wonderful when you get paid to do what you enjoy. I got, I got an email this week from somebody from Longview, Texas, that used to live in this area 40 years ago and moved away, and they came back and they said, you're still here, and I felt like I was home. 